how to switch between cameras for live streaming. Let me show you. Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Sof. Today we're looking at switching between different cameras. What I'm going to do is show you a few options. You may be familiar with OBS and you can select scenes, but something else I'm going to show you right now is a HDMI switcher. This is something that actually is quite a nice addition. What it allows you to do is you can put multiple cameras in there. In this one, I can put up to four HDMI cameras and have one HDMI capture card, which actually in theory is using four cameras. So I don't need four HDMI capture cards. So I'm going to be testing this right now, showing you how I set it up and let you know the limitations of this. To support this video, I've got a link in the description to my mailing list. Make sure to sign up to that and you'll get an instant email with help sheets, guides and frequently asked questions, which will help you get through this journey. So what it will allow you to do is if you have multiple cameras like I do here, one there and one up here, I also have a third camera and I want to be able to switch between them remotely. So let me show you what this comes like. Okay, is that scratched? Oh no, it comes with a little seal on. That looked like it was scratched, but it's basically a little peel off seal. Top. Bottom. Is one on the front? Just on the screen. Okay, so yeah, that is your switcher. That's how it will come to you. It looks quite nice. Four in, one out. So we can put four HDMI cables in there. And using the remote control, we can switch between which one we want to show. So you can see that is quite a nice feeling system. HDMI switcher, it comes with a power socket. That's a good addition. And the USB cable, it's a normal micro USB. So similar to Android devices and charging. Couple of little stickers and guarantees. But yeah, that should be a nice little switcher for you. If you have multiple cameras, you can switch on the fly. Something like that, which I'm doing right now with the mouse. But I'll use my switcher to do that. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you how to actually plug it in and set it up. So right now in the side, that's a micro USB that I've plugged in with the adapter. Here are the HDMIs. One HDMI will need to feed into your HDMI capture card, which is this one here. So I'm putting the HDMI lead into the switcher. The other side of this will go into the HDMI capture card. So that's the one capture method which will show up on your computer. Let's get that power lead out of the way and plug that in. And apart from that, zoom out a bit and show you that is the HDMI capture card I'm going to use. I'm going to plug the HDMI capture card in there and then the USB of that into my computer. And then we'll see how that works. I've got a HDMI camera set up here, which I'll put you in on. So that's number one. I'll put in a couple and then we'll switch between them and I'll show you how it looks. It's a good idea in essence. It's basically a cheap alternative to switch cameras, multiple cameras. You could have loads of feeds from different HDMIs and it's got a remote control. You can switch one, two, three and four. And what I did find is those lights that I've got in my background actually change with that remote as well. So let me show you how that looks in a second now. So that's a quick look at the setup of it and how I put it together. Now I'll take you to some example shots using the remote control and a few problems I came into. We'll have a look at some more switches and see what works for you. Okay, so if you want to use a HDMI switcher to switch between cameras live, this is what you're going to get. You'll see that I click to the second angle up here, but you'll get that in between screens. If I go back to number one, you get that in between screen, which we do not want. But that is going to be a major problem. Switcher should be smooth and that is not smooth. We have to also point at the actual unit or it won't work. So you can see that's not as nice as we want it to be because if you're in this situation you want a nice smooth transition you don't want that funny rainbow color showing between transitions so that's how that works so thanks for watching i'm hoping you found that useful i'm gonna do a few more testing on hdmi switches and let you know what is the best option for you for live streaming